tightening cycle? I think in terms of, uh, you know, balancing growth and inflation risks, uh, so on and so forth, EM Asia is perhaps mostly done. Uh, what they're gauging is whether there will be any uh, un, uh, unwanted, unwelcome uh, macro stability risks from the Fed uh, doing more than what markets are betting on. I mean, the markets are betting on, on far less uh, and the Fed is, is perhaps warning that they could do more and, and then keep it there for longer. So those were, will probably be uh, the type of risks that uh, EM Asia central banks will have to deal with uh, in, because in, in all likelihood, uh, inflation has probably peaked. And the question is how quickly it recedes. Uh, whereas macro stability risks are a different kettle of fish altogether. Uh, yeah, and, and you touched upon a very important topic in, in terms of, uh, you know, macro stability risks. Where do you see uh, the problem there in, in, in the sense that, you know, which, where, where, where would it become more apparent, in the U.S. or in the East here? I, I wish I could say it wouldn't impact us here in EM Asia, but unfortunately it does. Uh, and, I, and I think it feeds off uh, two, two factors. One is, uh, you know, even if markets are right about the Fed pivot, uh, it is exceptionally high US interest rates uh, with reference to what we've experienced in the past, uh, you know, more than in a decade. Uh, that's one thing. So it's high US interest rates uh, will keep capital inflows into Asia fairly tight, if not increase the, the risk of outflows. And then under these conditions, it also creates uh, further risks of, uh, uh, you know, twin deficit risks uh, that, that then go on to destabilize EM Asia currencies further. So going into next year, there will be, I think, two versions of risks that, uh, evolving risks that EM Asia will have to deal with. The first is higher Fed rates that then depresses uh, EM Asia asset market stability and, and, and FX stability. And then as we roll over, as recession risks become clearer, Again, that could see, uh, you know, uh, uh, some risk of capital flight, uh, at least in the initial phase of it. So it doesn't mean that the, the, the risks end with the Fed uh, ending its rate hike cycle. We, we, then, we are then just confronted with a different risk.